What is up guys, Sonner for Canadian Rider here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to properly wash your car to avoid swirls and scratches. So it's spring and a lot of people are gonna be taking out their cars to go ahead and wash it. This is my 2009 Lexus IS250, as you can see, it is really dirty. And this is the first wash of the season that we're really doing for it. And I wanna make sure I'm washing it the proper way. Many of you have asked me in the comments on previous videos, how do I make sure I completely clean the car, especially on the first wash, without damaging the paint and introducing scratches and swirls on the paint? I'm gonna show you how. First things first, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, give this video a like, subscribe, over 25,000 subscribers. I wanna say thank you guys so much again. But to get started, what you need is the right tools to go ahead and do the job the right way. A big thing I tell anybody, if you have the right tools, it's gonna to be really easy to do this very quickly and effectively, and that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. I have right here two buckets, and this is gonna be called the two bucket method. This is gonna make sure that when you're washing the car, you're not going ahead and instilling all that dirt and rubbing that dirt back into the clear coat of your paint. So I'm gonna talk about the two buckets that I have here today. Each of these buckets have a grit guard. This is important, I'm gonna talk about that in a moment when I go ahead and do the washing. You'll want these grit guards in both of these buckets. And finally, all of the products that I'm talking about today, I'm gonna to link everything in the description box down below. So if you wanna go ahead, take a look at these products, check them out in the description box down below. And then I have my Simonized electric pressure washer. This is gonna help us, the first thing we do before we even touch the paint is we're gonna go ahead, pressure wash the car, and then foam can in the car. Now, it's not, you know, recommend it every time or you don't have to do it every time to foam can in the car. But I do recommend you have to make sure you actually pressure wash the entire car, especially in the condition that it is right now. It's really dirty. And what you're really trying to do here with the pressure washer step is make sure that you're knocking out all the dirt, all the grime, all the stuff that's on the paint that can be knocked out by the pressure washer. This is gonna make it as less chance that when you're using your mitt or anything, when you're washing the car, that you're not rubbing that dirt back into the paint. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, turn the pressure washer on, and I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this entire car down. I love this hose. Uh, this is my flex hose, and I used to use those uh, you know, normal hoses for such a long time, and it was such a pain in my ass um, to actually use it. This one, it's really flexible. You can bring it anywhere with you in the garage. You know, if I actually had it untangled, it's been a long time since I've used it, so I'm untangling it from all this. Great. Put this over here. So now what's cool about this, I could just make sure the tap is off, like that. And I'm gonna turn the water on, and you're gonna see it start, it's starting to expand, right? Which is really neat. And then once you're done with it, it'll just um, unexpand. So I'm just gonna bring this over to the side here. Trust me, look, I'm telling you right now, this is a lifesaver. The, the other hoses, I can't believe I used the other hoses for so long. I can't believe I found out about this so much later. Um, and Cause again, I've been doing detailing by the way, professionally for like 10 years now. I've been doing this for 10 years. Like professionally I was doing it and I sold the business. Um, so now I just do it on the side as my hobby cause I just love doing it. Um, and I can't believe I found out about this like two or three years ago, but this flexi hose, um, it's amazing. So I'm just gonna turn this on. Now it's on, it's connected to the pressure washer and I'm gonna go ahead and spool this up. And really again, the pressure washer stage is gonna make sure we knock off all of this dirt. Now, like anything, you know, when they teach you how to wash a car the proper way, you always start top to bottom. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna put the angle at 40 degrees. You can go 30 degrees if you like. Everyone's got a different pressure washer. It's not too much of a big deal. I'm gonna go ahead, start top to bottom. We're gonna get this in a good state. So we have the car rinsed. We completely went ahead, pressure washed. It got all the main pieces of gunk off. Now this is a secondary optional step, I would say. This is the foam cannon step. There's a lot of different foam cannons on the market. I have one that's built into this pressure washer. I'll go ahead and link other options down below in the description box. I'm gonna fill this up with some soap and warm water. I'm gonna fill it up with warm water. I love Mother's Car Wash Soap. This is a classic, the California Gold. 
Honestly, I got this at a great discount at the time. If you can find like, you know, big name brands for their soap, it's honestly really good. But Torque Detail sent me their Decon soap, which I haven't tried yet. I'm very excited to try this. So I'm gonna try this on the foam cannon. We're gonna put a little bit of this in here. I'm gonna mix it with some warm water and we're gonna go ahead and fully foam cannon the entire car. This is gonna help actually break down any remaining dirt that's on the car, but now it's gonna actually work better because we've broken up a lot of the dirt. If there's any dirt that's remaining on the paint, the car wash shampoo, in this case, the Torque Decon soap, that's gonna go ahead, break the rest down, and we're gonna be able to rinse it off. And that way, we have the most clean version of the paint before we get into actually washing it with a mitt. So I'm gonna go ahead, put a little bit of this in. Let's see what this smells like. Ooh, it smells like cherries. Nice. Um, so this is a uh, full decon soap. Usually you wouldn't use this if you already, if this is a maintenance wash or anything, but because this doesn't have any wax or sealant or ceramic on it, I don't care if it strips all that stuff. I want it to do that. So that's why we're using this. So I'm gonna go ahead, put a little bit here and I'm gonna fill the rest with warm water. We're gonna plug this in and we're gonna start foaming. So we went ahead, we did the entire foam can, and you can see, you know, we let it dwell for about three to four minutes. And if I didn't mention this already, we're doing this in the shade, especially for a darker car, depending on your water, if it's hard water, you're gonna get a lot of water spotting if you do this in the sun. So I'm doing it in my garage. If anyone's asking why, that's exactly why. We wanna do it in the shade. It's gone ahead and dwelled. I'm gonna go ahead and just use the hose, and I'm just gonna rinse this off. Now, this is gonna give us that clean as possible paint finish before we actually go ahead and wash the car like you would traditionally would. So we've gone ahead and washed the car. Now what we wanna do before we actually go and touch the paint, the dirtiest part of your car is always the bottom part and that includes the rims and tires. So I have a wheel cleaner here. This is my own wheel cleaner that I had. Um, you can use any honestly generic wheel cleaner from any of the major brands. They're all gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna go ahead, give this a spray down. Again, let it dwell for maybe two minutes or just read your manufacturer instructions on how you should be doing this. And I have a combination of a bunch of different brushes you're gonna be using for the wheels. So to get deep into the wheels, you have a brush like this, it's super long, it's gonna go in here. To get into the lug nuts of the wheels, you're gonna have a little brush like this to get into the lugs here. And then for the face of the wheels, I have a boar's hair brush, which is gonna gently clean the face of the wheels. And then finally, for the tires, what you're gonna have is a more stronger bristled brush. And this is gonna go ahead and rub off the tires. So one thing that you'll wanna do is you do wanna spray down the tires nicely. And the first thing you're actually gonna do is use the stronger bristled brush and you're gonna go ahead and rub down the tires. All right, just give them a nice rub. Okay, great. The reason why you're cleaning the tires is because when you go ahead and add a tire shine or something, you wanna make sure it's on a clean tire and it's gonna keep it on there longer and it's gonna look better. And we're gonna go ahead and give this a rinse. Great, so you're gonna do this for all four wheels. Once that's done, then we're actually gonna start washing the paint. So we finished up cleaning the wheels. That's great, now the dirtiest parts of the car are off. We're gonna go ahead and start the two bucket method wash. So I have this bucket, this bucket. Again, both of them have these grit guards. Now this is important because this is part of what is going to protect your paint from any possible other debris. And I'm gonna explain how this works. So essentially, if you think about it like this, all the water is coming down here and as you're washing the car, all the dirt, the particles, all that stuff is gonna come in here. They're actually gonna go through these little holes right in here. And they're gonna sit at the bottom of the bucket and it's gonna protect the water at the top from getting all this dirt that's now gonna be trapped down at the bottom of the bucket. So all the dirt's gonna fall 
get trapped here. So when you do come back with your mitts to go work on other sections of the panel, that dirt isn't gonna recirculate back up into your mitt. Now let's talk about the mitt. I've used lots of different mitts before. This is by far the best mitt to use, in my opinion. This is a microfiber Chanel mitt. It's got all these little fluffy microfiber strands, and these are really, really good at actually capturing all of the dirt and then expelling it. So highly recommend this again in the description box down below. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. I'm gonna fill one bucket completely with water. The other bucket, I'm gonna mix my decon soap with, with water. So we have our wash bucket with the decon soap, and then we have our rinse bucket, which is just plain water. Both of them have grit guards. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this, get a bunch of nice soap here, come to the top, and start from top to bottom. Nice strokes. You don't have to press or anything. Start top to bottom, just like so. Lift that up. And now, all you're trying to do here is, you know, make sure that you flip this once in a while and you only do, want to do one section at a time. So, you know, based on how big this mitt is and how dirty this car is, I'm just going to do up to, up to here, just this top part and these windows. Great, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna also just do the outside of this mirror. Excellent, so now this has all the dirt. We're gonna go and dunk it in this rinse bucket. Now, all that dirt is gonna go ahead and drop to the bottom of the bucket, and I'm swooshing it and I'm rubbing it against the grit guard. Excellent. So now that's rinsed, I'm gonna go back to my soap bucket, but I'm gonna go ahead and take my hose and I'm gonna rinse off what I just did. All you're gonna do is basically repeat that process section at a time across the entire car. Once that's done, you're gonna give it a full rinse. We're gonna show you. And then that is how you properly wash your car. One other thing I'm gonna mention is that if you have grills like this, yeah, the microfiber Chanel will probably get a good clean on it, but this is your first time doing a clean in a while. I would go ahead and spray it with some all-purpose cleaner um, or any type of just regular cleaner and go ahead and use a soft forest hairbrush. I'm using this. This is a secondary one that I have and go into the rims here or go into the, uh, the grill here. You're just gonna go into the grill, you're gonna get in there, and I don't necessarily do this every time, but this is good, especially if it's the first wash in a long time, and it's gonna really clean out. You know, it's pretty hard to get in here. Otherwise, this is really good. Long boar's hair brush gets right in. So we've gone ahead, we've cleaned the grill, we've cleaned all those other areas. Now we're gonna give it one final rinse. This is just to remove any possible, you know, last remnants of soap, or any kind of cleaner. We're gonna give it a last full rinse and then we're gonna dry it with a microfiber drying towel or waffle weave towel. I'm gonna to show you what that looks like. So we've gone ahead, we've rinsed the car. This is what I recommend for a drying towel. This is a waffle weave microfiber towel. This is the Meguiar's version. Now you can get any version. I'll link this in the description box down below, but this is really good at capturing a lot of that water and holding it in. And really, again, just like everything that we've done so far, you're gonna start at the top and you're gonna lightly go across the paint. What I also like to do, I like to go ahead and dry the glass first. I don't want the glass to have any potential water spotting because the water's stuck on there for too long. So I'm just drying the glass first. And then I'm gonna start drying the rest of the paint. There we go. So now we're gonna dry the top here, flip it over. And again, you don't wanna put pressure. You don't wanna to put too much pressure. You just wanna slide it off. That's it. And, and the point is, again, we're doing this in a shaded environment to avoid water spotting, right? This is gonna allow you to work on the car for longer without worrying about that. So the final thing we're gonna do, we finished washing the car basically. Now we're gonna go ahead and put a tire serum or any tire shine on this wheel. I personally really like 
the Tire Serum from Lithium. This is a really, really good one. Um, it leaves a matte shine instead of like a really high gloss shine. I personally like that. Use whatever you'd like. I'm gonna leave an option and this in the description box down below um, that I also like. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit of that on. I definitely put way too much there. So I'm gonna kind of just pat it around here. You don't want too much of this, right? This is, this is uh, something you want a little of. And you're just gonna rub it on here, okay? And you're gonna buff off to a nice matte shine. I wanna make sure you get up here. Something I will say, do not get it on your main tread. That is gonna cause a problem in the future. So you wanna make sure it's just on the face of the wheel or of the tire, and that's that. Great, so I'm gonna do this for all four sides and then we're done. Well, that's it guys. That's how you properly wash your car to avoid swirls and scratches on your paint. Follow these steps and it's gonna make sure that especially after you polish compound and seal your car, you're not gonna have any of those problems in the future. But you're probably gonna also be asking, what other things can I do to protect my car? So if you wanna go ahead, learn a little bit more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Over 25,000 subscribers. I just wanna say thanks so much. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. But I'm gonna tell you a few things that we're also gonna do. We're gonna be doing a full clean on the windshield. I'm also gonna be showing you, in case you're wondering, how to clay bar your car as well. This entire car, we're gonna be doing a full compound polish and ceramic coating on it. So this is just the first step, really, of an entire transformation we're doing on this 2009 Lexus IS 250 with over 325,000 kilometers. That's pretty incredible. Look at the car, it looks beautiful, it's in great shape. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.